Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Let me go back in the side here so I can actually talk. Yeah, I'm thinning out. I haven't even gone to the gym. Look, <sighs> let me sit over here. Okay, th th these bushes need to be cut. Do y'all see this flurry? Normally the hedges are not this tall. Um, it is the week of October 8th, um, and JB is on fall break. Girl, this child has been acting 50 shades of crazy. When I tell you that I've had to snatch him up almost every day, so y'all know me i typically have things planned for jp which i have um but most of the time it's during the weekend because i am working yeah i work from home i just don't sit up here and record videos all damn day i've actually have stuff to do so i've tried to take him out and do at least something even if it's you know with him going to the store with me for five to ten minutes um my hopes were to take him with me to the gym every day but sh they raised the prices for the gym. Let me back up. I've removed my unlimited children's access because he goes to school and he will only go with me to the gym like once every two weeks. So I'm like, there's no need for you to, for me to have unlimited. And with that, it was 50, a little over $50, right? Like $52 with tax. Um, and just with me by myself, it's like $34, $35. So I'm like, let me remove this. There's no need for me to, when he barely goes with me, like honestly, but I'm like, okay, if you were to go with me every day this month, it's $8. When I go, it's about $8 a day. I'm like, no, that's going to add up. So going into the office on Monday, but let me back up. This week, don't have a lot going on, but it has been a very productive week for me. When I tell you I've gotten so much done um, at work and around the house, I'm, I'm, I, I like it when I'm like this. This makes me feel successful when I'm getting stuff done. Um, I've already started goal planning for 2019. Y'all saw the planner I purchased from my previous vlog. Why am I getting a little too hype about these damn sticker planners? Girl, I have literally purchased, since I've talked to y'all last time, I purchased three more packages. And now I found out that you can actually, um, print them. You can get freebies. So, oh yes, like another little project I'm going to do, because it's so relaxing for me. Another little project. I harassed the guy at Staples. He always, he's like, what's up, Viv? I'm like, my name ain't Viv. I don't like nicknames, y'all. But anyway, I'm like, okay, if I bring my sticker paper up here, can I print off these stickers? He's like, yeah, that's not a problem. I'm like, okay. So maybe Friday or Saturday, I'm going to take about 10 or 15 sheets of sticker paper and go crazy, print out some stickers. <laughs> But I need to get a craft knife, probably go to Walmart one day this week, get a craft knife and um, um, print out some stuff. But y'all, um, I was going to say this morning I shared online with you guys um, upcoming videos, hair related videos. <sighs> I'm kind of thinking about doing a vlog this, this year, but y'all, it is a lot of work to film and edit vlogmas is when you um, upload daily it is a lot of work it was hard for me doing it with which i think jb was three years old at the time about to be four last uh two years ago and girl i know t i know you want me to do those curl formers never ever i wish you would i know you wanted to be a surprise when you sent me just to let you guys know, a subscriber sent me some curl formers with the intentions of me reviewing them. But y'all know, some of y'all probably know, I said I would never do curl formers. Just, I tried, I looked at them, I tried four or five times, and I was, a couple of weeks ago, I think it's been a couple of months ago, BuzzFeed had shared a picture of some curl formers she did and I don't know if she uploaded that video and so I was excited I was like yes now I get to um I sent her a message said now I get to have my subscribers come over to your channel and bother you and look and look at your curl formers video because I'm not doing it and she was like well actually she didn't have a good experience so when she told me she didn't have a good experience and she's good at styling her hair I'm like okay yeah no, I'm not even gonna try to do curl formers I would return those so you could get your money or send them back so you could get your money but I actually ripped two of them 
trying to use it two of the curl formers yeah I can't, I'm not going to do them. Oh, and last but not least, my mama says she ran into a subscriber out in East Texas. Y'all, I was like, what? She sent me a text message, y'all. I don't be reading my text messages right away. So, um, she's, she was out in Carthage, Texas. I don't know if those of you who are from East Texas. There's a lot of small towns in Texas. Carthage, Texas is in East Texas and that's where my grandparents used to live. So she was there for something, child. And she said that someone named Bryce, Bryson, she said he's a tall, light-skinned guy, approached her. And I said, well, was, was he a queen? <laughs> And she was like, what? A queen? I said, never mind. Never mind. So, um, I know I have straight men who watch my channel, but most of the men who watch my channel are not straight, which is absolutely fine. Um, so anyway, um, so shout out to you, Bryson. Thank you for your support. And he, he apparently approached my mama and was like, I watch, I follow your daughter on, or I follow her blog. I'm like, oh, okay. So shout out to him. Anyway, let me go over here and wake this child up because he ain't going to be ruining my morning activities he needs to get up we need to have breakfast we're gonna be going out i'll do a little vlogging while we go out Toast. of course hey you guys so we are back home <clears throat> getting my y'all see my pink big butt in the <laughs> Getting some clothes together. Look, since I don't really go out and do stuff much, I just make sure that I have clothes together for the next week. Getting my outfit ready for work on Monday. <clears throat> Even though we technically have three days. And then we have an outdoor festival next weekend. Next week is going to be crazy. We have two outdoor festivals to do. Um, my hair is still cute, y'all. To do Friday. We have the festival from his school. And then he said he'll have the energy, but I'm like, okay. He apparently wants to go do the trick a treat crawl at our outdoor plaza. And everything's really close by, and his school is right down the street. So we'll probably show up at the school right at five o'clock, do that from five to six, and then go do the trick or treat thing from six to seven. And I believe it actually starts at six. So it'll work out well. It'll work out real well. Um, let me sit down and talk to y'all because I had a good time at um the hold on jb sleeping hold on what was i saying he woke up at seven but he went to bed late too he woke went to bed at like 10 o'clock yeah he went to bed but he napped so right now it's not even four and uh we sorry off the camera we've been eating out a lot lately and when i eat out first of all when i eat out i don't eat all my food i look at the calories i don't eat, eat all my food so yesterday we stopped at mcdonald's i had a hamburger that was the first time in i don't know how long it's been almost seven eight years since i've had a hamburger for mcdonald's i can only eat two or three bites of that and i just ate the fries then today we had in and out and oh yes I can eat an in and out burger, <laughs> but I didn't even eat all of that. And I had a couple of fries. Um, tonight for dinner, I'll be having veggies. I have some red cabbage with some potatoes and I will only eat that if I'm hungry. I'm gonna definitely drink a lot of water tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll probably make a lentil soup. So I've been limiting my meals to one or two, to two meals a day, no snacking. And uh, cause I had, <laughs> when we got back from Texas, yeah, I had to be careful and plus I haven't been able to work out because like I told y'all Yeah, it's too much money. So I may go to the gym tomorrow and just take him with me um, Yeah Because I got to work out or I could do something at home. And that's what I'll do. Anyway, y'all um, had a good time um, JP basically was playing with his best friend I didn't want to put them on cam and make them feel awkward. He was playing with one of his best friends from school Little boy is so sweet um, for a while now his because jamie's popular at school y'all and i think it's mostly because of his his character his personality and um he's been to two he's been to two preschools so he knows we know at least two or three kids from every kindergarten class and there's four classes but anyway long story short um this family has been asking us literally both grandparents comes and picks up the child and the father comes to pick up the child the mother comes and so literally they're like 
I'm like, you know, I don't want to say the baby's name. <clears throat> you know, our grandson is always talking about JB and they literally have been talking about this for two weeks. And so I finally was like, look, let's just go ahead and get together, get these babies together and let them play, especially since this week they're out of school. And I know that he's been really wanting that, that interaction with other children. He did get a chance to play with Miss Lori's grandkids. Um, yesterday actually no, no no the day before yesterday actually so anyway um great time with this woman the reason why i want to bring her up is because we had a great conversation this was the grandmother of the child we had a great conversation and i love talking to people who are genuine and just hold nothing back and so i she was apologizing a, a couple of times because she felt like she was talking too much but I, I was like you're not talking too much you know we were there for two hours um but, you know, one of the things that she bought, well, well, first of all, let me say this. I believe that there is nothing that's accidental. And I told her that, you know, I told her, I mentioned that to her because as, as much as we were connecting on a lot of different things and she's like, oh, absolutely. I believe that everything happens for a reason. And um, she was telling me, she's like, you're always so bubbly and, you know, so full of life. And, you know, it's always a joy to just speak to you. You're, you're always in a good mood, it seems. I said, well, I... <laughs> I said, well, thank you. <laughs> she was asking me, you know, what are you, what are you doing to make sure that, you know, you're not going crazy and I let her know about my routine. And we were just talking about different stuff about meditation and she was telling me some things that she wanted to do. But overall, she said that this year has been, you know, very difficult for her because of some things that was happening with her family. She lost her mother last year to suicide of all things and the reason why i'm not bringing this woman's business up but there's a reason why i wanted to talk to y'all about this um and i was shocked because again this is a grandmother and her own mother committed suicide at 79 years old and i said well, you know and she, and she she could guess that or sense that i was curious to what would make a 79 year old woman she said she was in pain she was having uh, stomach pain and they've been a specialist and they could not figure out where the pain was coming from and she had this intense just chronic pain for a long time and she was just tired over it and so as she's talking to me about this you know I, I interrupt her and I say you know I, I hate to say this but your your stomach your intuition is connected to your stomach your brain basically your gut and your heart so if you are uh, suffering emotionally if you are suffering that can manifest in you physically and thank God she wasn't offended by that she absolutely agreed she's like oh yeah she's like I absolutely know that because apparently they had lost her dad shortly before she started experiencing the stomach pain and that's when she started feeling sick I mean she was so sick and and just in pain and they couldn't figure out what the reason was for um, it was just a great conversation I said we should do this again um she we were both inspired by each other and so that really got me thinking about i need to get back on my um oh and, and real quick i was sharing with her how my vision for uh my vision board for my career was stalled this year because i was so i was holding so much animosity not animosity i'm not using the word i was holding so much bitterness and anger towards some things that happened throughout the year and it was almost blocking me from my blessing. It was blocking me from um, just growing, y'all. Growing within my myself, growing within my, my career field, I should say. And she was like, oh, yeah. She said, yeah, that can happen. You know, a lot of people don't take ownership of that. And they stay stuck. And she said, we're human. Things happen. And we're, we are, we're built to be emotional, but you can't stay in that. I said, yes. Yes, Mama Landon. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, I think there's a reason why we got together today. I said, I think so too. This is exactly what I needed. And it's so funny how God can put people together and put them just when they need it. This is exactly what I needed. And one of the things I feel that I need to get back into is creating my village of women. And unfortunately, and this is something I shared with the grandmother, my village 
has been, I wouldn't say it's an unfortunate, it's, it's a good thing, I guess. My village so far has been older women, like women who are old enough to be my mom. But I wanna be able to connect with women on my age, my age level or, or younger. I feel like sometimes, especially with other moms, there's this almost competition sometimes with other women my age or younger. And I don't wanna be that way. I wanna be able to, you know, lift you up, you lift me up. And this is, there doesn't have to be any competition, you know what I mean? So, uh, you guys, I've been, been, yeah, he's, been, I'm hoping my husband can take him somewhere today so that I can get some work done. I mean, I've probably been getting, I try to work in the morning and when he's sleeping um, or taking a nap. So my hours have been crazy this week and I've been off track. Um, yeah, my, because I've been crying. My bad. father, okay, JB. Uh, my father also had surgery two days ago to remove his prostate. I didn't even know you could do that. I didn't know you could. I thought you needed that. Men needed that. Like, isn't that like One hormonal for him too? Like, <laughs> that's like removing a woman's ovaries almost. I'll have to look into it. JB, stop it. So anyway, yeah, he had surgery two days ago, but then he had a little bit of complications. Um, he was in a lot of pain. They had originally given him morphine, and then they took him off the morphine, and then that's when his stomach really started hurting. Um, so they put him back on the morphine. So y'all that and then one of my she's not really my cousin but she's my aunt's niece but we all kind of grew up together because i saw i thought they were cousins child didn't even find out until i was in college so they really not family but it makes sense because they treated us a little different they didn't treat us like blood you know what i mean but anyway one of my cousins apparently had open heart surgery um, last week and then she had a stroke a little what is a TSA TS TSH I'm sorry um, but she's doing well she is 52 so anyway y'all um, yeah keeping myself busy let me show y'all what I've been doing my latest obsession is sticker planners or sticker for your planners y'all then I, I told y'all I would budget myself a five dollars. That went out the door like that. Didn't take time at all. However, what I found is that it's best to print them out yourself. Now I don't have a printer at home, but my homeboys at at Staples they hooked me up. They helped me out, so I went over there yesterday. Let me show y'all what I've been doing. Um. So yeah, what I did I is one, sure. I went to Staples. And I, I've already had this sticker paper. This is sticker paper that I've been having when I used to have my little shop selling my hair, my hair oil. And this was for my um, mailing labels. So I just took about a couple of sheets of these and I went to Staples, they printed it out for me, eight bucks. And I had about, uh, I have about 18 pages, $8. 18 pages of stickers. I don't know how much, how many that is, but it's quite a few. Then I also created my own. I'm going to show you my other stickers I've been doing. I created my own that fit my calendar. So you can see here stuff like um, for his school, early release, filming, editing video, dentist, events, appointments, volunteer time, date night. Um, and then I switched it up sometimes. Uh, you know, this is for making phone calls. Uh, me days, again, helping with my blog, volunteering, excuse me, vlogging, meeting, vacation, so forth. These were very, very basic because I'm going to show you um, what my decorative stickers are going to look like. Um, so yeah, I saved these files and these right here will definitely fit my calendar. So these are for the, I don't know the names of the different calendars they have out there. Cause yeah, I just started this a week ago. Um, but these fit specific calendars, uh, pages, the, the days, excuse me, but they're too big. Yeah. So. And then hits kids really yeah so again this is just what i did very very basic using a couple of things i have um these are the stickers i created so yeah another sticker i created in early release which fits perfectly on this calendar in my 2019 but girl y'all all right so these are actual stickers so these are the stickers i have um just productive stickers i created these last week but i created within uh between last night and this morning i've created these stickers don't mess with that baby oh okay so this right here this ribbon right here would be i guess they call it the washi 
is what this will be. And then I have just some larger stickers. This is my perfume and purses, okay? And then we have, oh, isn't this cute, y'all? Afro Queens natural hair. And then we have Texas. <laughs> I have a month, nothing but Texas. We have Whataburger. We have the Blue Bonnet Sweet Tea, of course. And then we have a, we'll have a Christian um, monthly section here. Some of my favorite Bible verses. Of course, you got Representation Matter, the brown hands. <laughs> oh, and this is really cute. I want to show you. Walk by faith. And that's really cute. That's probably something I could put, like, this clip art right here is something that I could probably put along here or even along there when I'm decorating. Okay, but no, let's do the next page. Okay, this is Christmas. Again, representation matter. We got the brown elf, the brown Santa, Kwanzaa. Um, yeah, very hey, cute. Santa, no I am a Potter head, and so we have Harry Potter <laughs> clip art. <laughs> uh, and last but not least, this is gonna be for, not for, th for not Thanksgiving, this is won't be for Valentine's Day, this would be for the month my husband and I got married, which was April. And so, yeah, I think this would be very, very cute. So this is would be for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months um, of next year. Here's this woman coming up here, y'all. I think she's from Houston. She has a box, so she's walking her dog, y'all. Y'all know it's Friday. Let me tell you something. This boy, there is not enough alcohol in the world to make me want to have multiple kids. Hell no, to the no, no, no. Bless y'all heart, those of y'all who have multiple kids, but um, Miss Jackson is not about that village life right now. Like, I never have been quiet as a cap. Um, I was one of those, what do I was watching? I was watching, one of my favorite movies is No Reservations was with Catherine Zeta-Jones and that guy with the dimple in his chin. Oh, I don't know if he's cute or not. I don't know if he's cute to me. But one of the reasons why I love that movie is because I see myself as the main uh, character played by Catherine Zeta-Jones, who was his career-driven, now I don't have those type of issues, but a very much career-driven um, woman, I think Catherine, she plays someone in their mid thirties and was just focused on the career, not really caring about a family, being married. And I was like that. Um, I was that friend that was like, I don't like kids. I don't want to have kids. Babies are cute, but I'm not about that breastfeeding life. I'm not about that, you know, cloth diapers and you're not saying you have to do all that. But I guess my point is, is that I did not want kids and I honestly never wanted to get married. I was okay with being with my husband. I was okay with being single for a moment there. We were single a few times. <laughs> I was perfectly fine with that because I was focused on my career, okay? Never had this feeling of loneliness that a lot of, not a lot, that some single women have. But I guess, what was I talking about that for? Oh, so, you know, a lot of times, especially when you have one child, you just one and done. They're like, oh, don't you want another one? No, because I didn't even really want to have any at all. I love JB. He is the light of my life. But... I have no desire to gain 30, 40 pounds and get my, and my nipples be leaking. I, I just don't have any. I don't have that, y'all. Oh, I when I see people have multiple kids, my heart aches for them. <laughs> no, that, in all honesty, I um, really do respect women who are able to manage, and I mean large households, when you have four plus kids, four or five kids, and when they little all at the same time, oh, girl. JB started singing Christmas songs, and that was my cue. My glasses are dirty, y'all. That was a sign for me that I may need to get out the damn house at this point. My husband woke up. It's 9 o'clock. He's, he's on the treadmill, and I'm like, okay, I got to go. Do you have anything going this morning? Okay, I have to go. Look, ladies, if you have small kids, do not be afraid to, or don't feel like you have to be the sole provider, caregiver, I mean, not provider, even that too, but the sole caregiver for your children. Especially when they're little, you know, under five and under, I think a lot of women feel like that the kids have to always. Hell no. JB has been with his father ever since he was a baby. I used to go into the office, and when he was a baby, um, my husband would keep him. Or sometimes my husband would keep him and then drop him off. Mm, yeah, here's the breast milk in a bottle. Bye. I don't, or sometimes I've, I've read, or sometimes I've heard of women asking their husband for permission to leave the.
Now, out of respect, I'll ask, do you have anything going on this morning? Nine times out of ten, he doesn't. So, okay, here's the baby. Gotta go. <laughs> Gotta go, girl. I'm all about my me time. That, um very pleasant summer let me look at this camera and talk to y'all about something real quick because i saw something this morning on facebook y'all know i am a huge lurker so i be lurking my friends facebook posts i don't say anything a lot of the times i just look stare and judge but <laughs> no on this particular one i kind of briefly read it and she basically asked one of my facebook friends she was like what is y'all budget for christmas you know our budget for presents let me add and she's like, our budget is normally $400, $500. I'm like, what? Let me tell you something. <laughs> we budget, my budget this year is $150. And that's for both JB and my husband. I find that as JB is getting older, and I knew this would happen, that the presents are getting more pricier. So... The years before, I was able to get him stuff five, six, eight dollars and give him get him a lot of stuff. This year, he's technically getting four or five things, and he's not getting a dang on thing for his birthday because we're going to, we're going to Sedona. I'm not having a party. I'll bring some donuts for his class, put him a little birthday boy sash on, and that is it. Let me tell you something. I am not one of those parents that's going to be. Let me let me back up and say this. You can do whatever you want with your money. It's your money is your coins. But half that stuff that I bought for JB last year, I'm trying to think. Besides that washing machine, <laughs> besides the washing machine and the keyboard, those are the only two things he played with. Everything else he's either destroyed, he's lost, or he shows no interest. With my children, with my child, excuse me, I'm not going to be spending $400, $500. And she doesn't have any kids, so I'm assuming this is for her family as a whole. I have not gotten my parents a birth, excuse me, a um, even that, I haven't gotten them any Christmas presents in years. We are about making memories. And that's one thing I told, I told, you know, my husband when we were considering, I'm like, okay, should we do a birthday party or let him have an experience and go on vacation? So I think that is going to be our, our tradition as a family is that instead of, um, having JB uh, parties, you know, when he gets to a certain age and he has some friends, yeah. But while he's this young, we're going to be creating memories for him. Let's go, you know, let's let's do a day trip somewhere, a weekend trip. Um, let's go to the beach. I'm not going to be spending $300, $400 on holidays. And then for his birthday, hell no. So let me know, do y'all have a budget for your presents or do y'all be like, forget it? Um, yeah, he's not getting any presents for his birthday because his birthday is literally two weeks after Christmas. And for Christmas, I already have his, <laughs> JB is something else. I already has his, his, his presents and an Amazon card. So just a second ago, he's like, mama, are you going to add that, um, school, that game to your cart? I'm like, yes, JB. He's like, oh, you could go to Staples and get it. I'm like, oh my God, he already five years old and already knows exactly what he wants. But I will say JB is a very, he's very humbling in that I could get him four or five things. And then if it's what he absolutely wants, he doesn't care about having more stuff. You know what I mean? He's okay with just enough. He's okay with that. So, um, yeah, I'm not getting, my husband will get some, um, I have some, uh, Versace sitting in a cart waiting for him. And even that's like $40, $50. So between him and JB, a hundred, oh, and he's going to give me money for JB's present. So I'm going to even spend the $400 for JB's present. $400. Hey, 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 can y'all see me? I lightly wet my hair and now I am going to remember that honey. You can see it here. That honey and oil mask I did for y'all here at the bottom. I added some conditioner and that's going to be my pre-poo. Let me shake this up. I know this is going to work. The reason why my hair looks like this is because I lightly I put my hair under the um, shower head. Um, girl, look at that. Look at that 4C though. Lord. Oh my God. <laughs> Now it looks like this. So I'm going to pre-poo. This is going to be a ridiculous wash day for me because I'm doing that Flexi Raw set for y'all. I'm not looking forward to that because I'm still sleeping on my back. I am, I think my husband in my back, hell. I am a belly sleeper, but 
I accidentally rolled over my, on my stomach the other day and I woke up in the middle of the night. I was in so much, it wasn't pain, it was sore as hell. I almost cried out, it was so sore. So I'm still healing. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to sleep on those damn flexi rods. I could probably do my side. Cause normally I sleep on my belly. If I'm doing perm rods or flexi rods, I sleep on my belly and I sleep with my head lifted up. <laughs> and I can sleep, you know? But I want to figure something out, y'all. Ooh, Lord. Anyway, let me go see if my husband and them are back. And I know JB's been going crazy. He's not acting bad or anything. He's acting like a five-year-old. I mean, but this is the first time we've had him home all week since the beginning of the year, since January. And he wasn't this active. Look at those curls. Anyway, y'all. My whole plan is to put this pre poo in. I'm putting in a lot. And um, twist it up. Put a cap on. Come back in. And then detangle. Oh, Lord. What was I talking about? Keep getting interrupted, hell. Oh, real quick. Child, Kanye West. <sighs> Those of us in the States know that Kanye met with Trump. Look, I have no problems with... Uh, Kanye supporting Trump but this is the problem Kanye is unstable he has been diagnosed as a, he has bipolar and instead of Trump addressing the hurricane that recently occurred in Florida he's gonna have what hour two hour long meeting with Kanye West oh lord have mercy you know I really do believe that Kanye is still mourning the, mourning the loss of his mother. I don't think, because he went down, uh, he was already weird, but, and there's nothing wrong with being weird. He went down this long spiral of being out of control and making all these off the wall comments, and it's just gotten worse since his mother has passed. So, um, I've been lucky enough, I still have both my parents, but I know some of you guys have lost your parents he i don't think he ever had his father in his life and his mother he was really close with his mother you know remember that pain and then imagine if you were married to a kardashian <laughs> Girl. the kardashian clean which i low-key think that they are into witchcraft i really do I <sighs> two narcissistic people having a conversation with each other but hell for a minute there, i didn't watch the entire interview but for a minute there i was looking at trump and even trump was like what the hell was I thinking letting this man come in here and talk to me? Crazy. Just crazy. He, he, I'm sorry, he's not crazy. Just the entire scenario was just crazy. Um, and I, you know, I really do feel like, and I try not to talk about politics on my channel, but I really do feel like Trump is taking advantage of a, of a clearly sick and ill man. And that's just disgusting. It really is. You guys, we're at Desert Ridge. We're eating, and then we're gonna go see a movie together. <laughs> and it's raining. Look, it's raining. Let me see if y'all can see it. Yeah, it's really raining, and the temperature is like 60. It's Florida rain in Texas rain. Florida, it's Florida rain. rain in Texas rain. Sit down, baby, so they can see you. You wanna talk to them? I brought my bendy and it's raining outside, but we're gonna go see a movie. And I'm so cute. Yeah. So we're gonna go to the movies. We got we gotta get our tickets and we're gonna walk around for like a little tiny bit like this one. And not sure.
JB has his candy. He should be good. Don't like you, this. Mm -hmm. you guys, we are at the AMC. This is the first time I've been in an AMC in years. And they actually assign you seating. They ask us what type of sitting. Uh, those tacos I got from, they got food, food over here. The tacos I got from, what's the name? Arubio's was bland as hell. I didn't even eat all of them. Let me look at the food they have. Stay right here, Baloo. Stay right here. I'm gonna go look at the food that they have. They have actually food food. You mean to tell me I can get some nachos here? Thumbnail time. AMC seems to be a lot nicer than Hawkins. I mean, look at, they have little mini TVs to let you know it. At Hawkins, they just got the picture, child, and my battery is really low, so I think we got a while. They're still cleaning. We have about 15 minutes. Child. Y'all like this lipstick? This is a purple lipstick, blue and purple I got last year. Very fall. I have a kiss mark. No, you don't have a kiss mark. Oh, no, you don't have any kiss marks from fries. I didn't you even kiss me when we were at fries. This movie's in 3D. They also have a bar. Should have gotten me something. Hell, I would have eaten here. But you, you know, this movie food is basically warm-up food. So it's probably just as expensive as those tacos. I don't know what we're gonna eat tomorrow. I mean tonight. Um. Actually, I know. I'm gonna cook that salmon. I have some salmon and some broccoli and some spinach. And then tomorrow I'm gonna do wild rice crock pot style though. Oh, crock pot. All right, y'all, that is it for this vlog. It's gonna be pretty long. Can you keep that fat fat? Look at that skin tone, those red undertones. Yes, bye y'all. Yeah. Mm -mm.